Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop Design Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this double exposure posture inside of Photoshop. Of course, if you're a beginner, you will be able to flow with me on this video, even if you're a professional too. If you've not gotten your Easter templates, you have this also with the Sci-Fi Fantasy Pack and also the smart designer premium assets you can get a link in the description of this video to get all of these packages for yourself before it expires if you've not subscribed to my channel now is the right time to hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notification so that you miss any other videos i'll be dropping anytime from now without further ado let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over so my Photoshop, I have it open already. So click on File, click on New. You know the drill already. So for this 4x5, I'm just going to put in the name here. So it's just going to be Double Exposure Poster. Simple as that. Right, so it's going to be Double Exposure Posture. 4x5, 300 resolution RGB. Then click OK. So you're greeted with this interface like this. So the next thing I'm going to do, go to Adjustment Layer, Solid Color. And I'm going to make sure my background color is white, just white, no colors. Right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going over to my resource file. The resource file is in the description of this video also. So you have a whole lot of things going on in the description of this video. So please make sure you check the description of this video to get these things. So I'm going to flip it like this and I'm going to bring it down. Click enter, right click and convert to the smart object again. Control T and um, increase the size just like this so this is exactly how i want it to be right so i'm just going to increase the size like this and um, move it to where it's supposed to be this is not supposed to take too long so you can make yours perfect but i'm just going to leave mine like this and um i have this in place i'm going over i'm going to mask this crazy mask and um with the mark selected like this, I'm going over to my brush, B for brush, and I'm going to clean off the edges like this. Make sure your flow is set to 20 to 29. That's the range. So you're not doing too much. So I'm going to rub off these edges like this. Conceal these edges like this. And um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I have this in place. I'm going over to my resource file to bring in the next image, which is this image here. So drag and drop like this. And um, yeah, this is the image I'm going to use, but I'm going to move it to the area that I'm going to need this image, right? And when you are done, just click enter. And um, yeah, there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and click on create clipping mask to mask it to the image, right? So this is, um, the work is half done. So I see how to do more control T and I'm going to increase the size like this so that it covers, um, the entire lower portion of this portrait. Click the mask and with my brush selected B for brush, I'm going to rub off the areas that I do not need. Note that my flow is set to 29 right and i'm not um erasing the areas that the image of the lady on the mountain is very important right so with this done i'm still going to reduce the flow and this time i'm going to make the brush big i'm going to go in and um yeah that's all i'm going to do so let's go on to the next thing i'm going to do so i'm still going over to my resource file i'm going to bring in this image um a silhouette of the girl so i'm just going to put inside here like this and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to resize it make it smaller it's going to stay somewhere up here so you can reduce the opacity for you to see where you are putting it to make sure that um, the composition is just in the right position to be i'm going to mask this out and um, i'm going to create clipping mask like this you can see it's part of the image now select the mask and with your brush selected you can turn this up make sure you don't go beyond um 40 and erase this part here make sure there's a nice blend of 
the image will beat the original image. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to erase this part here. And um, you can see this is what we have. Right. So um, nicely done. Um, I'm going deep into six. I'm going to erase this aspect here. And um, voila. That's it. So with this one see selected. Um, let's see. Okay, with this selected, I'm making a duplicate copy of this. But with this one, this time, I'm going to make this bigger. As an extension of what I have there before. But I'm not going to clip this. I'm simply going to click on the mask. And with my brush selected, I'm going to turn this up. Make sure it's not, it's not at 100. Anywhere not close to 100 is fine. So I'm going to clean off the sharp edges. Just like this. Sharp edges. We're going to get rid of those things. Yes. And make sure it's only the outside parts here that's made visible in all of these things, right? So you can see how nicely blended this is. Good. Okay, so directly on top of this layer, what I'm going to do is create select adjustment layer, click on hue and saturation, and um, right click, create the mask, and um, Okay, so we're in check. Yeah, so you can use this, but I'm not going to use colorize. I'm going to use this hue slider. I'm going to turn it to slightly plus one and increase the hue value like this, the saturation value, I mean. So increase the saturation value. You can see you can turn it up, turn it down, whichever way you want, but I'm going to increase mine. So the image looks punchy, right? So, yeah. Go to adjustment layer, click on solid color. This time I'm going to pick um, orange, yellowish kind of color. You don't have to be specific with this. Create clipping mask. Change the blend mode to screen. Yes, click on the mask. Control. Um, blending option first. Go to the blending option. And um, inside of the blending option, make sure you uncheck this and um, you click ok but before you click ok hold down alt and adjust the slider like this you can move this to your right and move this also to click ok and what you should do here is click here ctrl i to invert this with your brush selected my flow is set to 23 make sure you are using the white because you're working with the black mask i'm just going to create that highlight here the edge here on the face and on this part here also you can see how i'm trying to be detailed so when you're doing yours you can choose to spend more time doing all of these things right but first learn the basics so what i want to do next is um select this layer create another layer like clicking this bring in the image of the birds and i'm basically dragging and dropping like this dragging and dropping like this this is the image of the bird you can see how this adds some more it just creates some more excitement here and um click on the mask and um erase these areas like this and make sure the beds are outside not anywhere near the face right so you have it this way you're good to go and um what i'm going to do next is so i'm going to move this upwards all of this right click on this first layer create a new layer here and go over to brush Turn my flow up to 100. Make the brush big by using the bracket key or doing that manually. I'm going to paint in white there. Right? So you have this done. We're almost done with all of this. Go over to your resource file. And uh, bring in the text. And you have this. Right? Choices. 
and um, I'm just going to go over to the bed layer and um, erase it from this part here so that my text can be visible enough. Right? Great. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do next is um, make um, a little adjustment. But before that, I'm going to click on Ctrl Shift Alt and E to make a snapshot of a new layer. Convert this to smart objects. Very important. Ctrl Alt Shift E and um, go over to Filter Filter Gallery. Yes. And the effect I'm going to be adding is the brick effect. So this is what it looks like. So on that texture, select um, um, brick texturizer, brick, and copy my settings. Then click OK like this. Now, um, the brick effect is on the entire image. So I'm going to mask this out. And I'm just going to select my brush and remove it from the areas i don't want it to be like the face i don't want it to be on the face here like this i just want only on the other parts of the image right so i'm just going to clean so you can see it here and it's not on the face all right guys this was how i created this double exposure post um poster inside of photoshop if you like this video please do not leave without leaving the thumbs up so that youtube will recommend this video to others if you've not subscribed Subscribe so you don't miss any videos after dropping. I'll see you in the next video just up above. Ciao.